All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for a 2023 independent film called The Channel. Here's the plot. When a bank heist goes wrong, a desperate criminal, his old out of control brother, and a monthly crew of ex-marines must escape from the or New Orleans as a determined, uh, determined FBI agent follows. Now here's some of the cast. Despite them trying in the beginning to make you feel compassionate for the main character, I definitely had zero for that main character and the rest of the group. Very good acting all the way around though. I, it did have a little bit of a cheap feel to it, but not by much. The stunt driving was impressive in the beginning and the detailed dialogue was fantastic all the way around the film. I will say for the most part the camera shooting was also pretty good, about 99, 99%. However, there was a huge uh, chase scene uh, between the, the people, so it's not like a car scene, it's the whole people in general, that was shot free handed uh, without a steady cam, unfortunately. So it was kind of nauseating to watch. Now, if I were would needed to nitpick, it would be how in the huge shootout scenes they did with the whole Hollywood trope of having endless ammo, and how when they robbed the bank, they could you could clearly see enough of their eyes and face through the eye sockets of the masks, which the masks were very cool by the way, uh, despite that. But lots of action compared to the big storytelling. Which, in, which is what you expect with this type of story, so not really a complaint, and it's also expected going into this. But here's my written, I'll come back to my final thoughts. For a film like this, I was very entertaining throughout. Not that much to complain about other than the little bit of a nitpicking here and there, and I think you can complain about the uh, the steady cam not being used when it was was when they're freehanding it. But other than that, it was it was a real good entertainment film. I definitely highly recommend it. Definitely an action kind of crime drama to it. Um, but what do you guys think uh, or think in general um, about this idea of this film? Uh, I know it's kind of been done a lot, but this was really good. It had layers to the dialogue throughout the film. Um, I definitely like it. Um, again, highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, uh, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. And I will have the Silo series started on Wednesday, and then I'll have it either Thursday or probably Thursday. Uh, we'll see, but Thursday or Friday, depending on how long it is. I don't know how many episodes, so and how long each episode is. But it's on Apple Plus, so it can be hit or miss for people, because that's very specific of a streaming service compared to, like, say, Netflix or something. You literally have to have an Apple account, which means you have to have an Apple uh, a, uh, a device type of thing. So, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. It's cool.